Uh, my name is Paul Tuma. I come from London via South Africa and I'm one of the owners of RAID International Training Agency. Um, RAID is a diver training agency and we specialize in all forms of diver training. So we do uh, recreational from open water right the way through to instructor trainer. We do an in open circuit. We do recreational CCR. We've got the biggest complement of uh, recreational programs on the market. We also do technical open circuit, technical CCR, side mount, rec and cave. So we f cover the full spectrum, everything from, uh, from diver to instructor trainer. Um, okay, so we're, we're after dive centers and obviously the instructors that work at the dive centers. Very, very simple process. Um, the instructors cross over to RAID at their existing level. We come down and do a, a day program Um, and then uh, basically really simply just sign the dive center up. It's a very, very simple process. A lot of what we do um, has, is in terms of the skills is different to other training agencies. First of all, um, you need to understand that uh, essentially uh, RAID was a rebreather training agency and it's born out of technical diving. So what we've done is we've had a look at how technical interacts with recreational and uh, we've kind of revamped the skills and reworked the way that diving is done. So for example, on an open water diver course, you can dive in a twin set, you can dive in side mounts, you can dive in a single tank, you can dive in a single tank with a two meter hose and the other hose bungeed around your neck, uh, a la technical. Um, we have removed the snorkel for all intents and purposes. It's only a surface skill with a snorkel. Uh, regulator recovery has been changed quite dramatically. Um, the buoyancy clinic is superb. Our instructors have to concentrate on propulsion, trim, drag, and buoyancy. There's no um, Buddha position buoyancy. You, you're actually um, doing buoyancy in, in the in the proper dive position. Um, yeah, we've uh, there's there's quite a few subtle differences. We've not reinvented the way that the scuba is taught, but we've brought the essentials back to scuba. Like we don't have a buoyancy specialty because buoyancy is a fundamental essential skill to being a diver so buoyancy is a fundamental part of open water so therefore uh, in our training buoyancy is heavily concentrated on without neutral buoyancy you're not a, a, a proper diver you're not a diver so when we teach someone to be an open water diver we want them to be able to function for the rest of their lives as an open water diver so we train them properly Okay, so um, gas sharing, alternate air source use, we have a, a slightly um, different procedure. Basically, when we were writing the programs, we had a look at all the open circuit disciplines. Uh, and effectively, if a side mount diver wearing a two meter hose, or a twin set diver wearing a two meter hose, or a recreational diver with a primary regulator, we're all diving together on the same site, and anyone had a problem, we would like them all to react the same way. So effectively, we donate the primary regulator rather than donating the octopus. So effectively, uh, ideally, all divers should be using a two meter hose, which is something that we highly recommend, even recreational divers do, because it means that the, the diver sharing gas has got a lot more space to maneuver and make a safe ascent to the surface. Um, so it's really, really simple. It's just donate your primary. The octopus is for you. The octopus is not for the other diver. And then begin your ascent to the surface. Very easy. Um, I see the development of RAID um, uh, being uh, almost exponential. Uh, in the 12 months that uh, myself, Jim and Barry have had the new RAID, um, we have moved ourselves from really officially being in about four countries to being in over 40 countries. We're on all continents now. We're fully represented in Australia, New Zealand, all the way across Asia. Um, only Japan is, uh, is left in Asia. Um, we're steamrollering over, over Europe at the moment um, with many new territories coming on now in the early part of 2015. America and South America are done, Africa is also done. Um, and what we're seeing now is because of the, the way that we're looking at diving um, and the way that we feel the business of diving should be done and the way that instruction should be done, we're seeing a lot of take up on, on, uh, on raid, uh, to RAID at the moment. So 
In the next five years, I'd like to say that we would be the third, if not second biggest training agency in the world. That's my dream. Um, and I think that we, we, we have the strength to do that, certainly do. Uh, yeah, I've been in the industry for 20 years. Um, my biggest joy um, is still uh, seeing the diver's face when they succeed. It's not necessarily an open water diver learning to dive because I get just as much thrill out of watching a technical diver master a piece of equipment or master a complex set of skills. Um, teaching in any way, shape or form is still my most exciting thing. My most frustrating at the moment is that the market is being controlled by people um, who I feel have utter disregard for it. Um, they're only interested in their own self-growth and they're not interested in the growth of the industry. Um, during my 20 years, I've lived under one ethos. When I leave this diving industry, I want to leave it in a better condition than I found it. And at the moment, I don't think it is in a better condition than when I found it. It is still as exciting and there are still some great people involved in it, but I think that we need to just embrace 2015 and the technology and we need to change the way that business is done and we need to change the support mechanisms that are, that are out there. My most frustrating thing is the one thing that RAID is really working hard at changing.